Howdy folks, it's Meandering Mike in the Man Cave of Madness. It's the middle of the afternoon and we are doing an unboxing of Fighters of the Pacific. This is from Don't Panic Games. The designer is Frank Garibaldi. I believe Capscom Games is the design house. I'm not certain though. So why are we doing this particular unboxing at this time? Well, this is a 2023 Charles S. Roberts Award nominee in the Capstone Award category of Best Overall Presentation. So let's go ahead and get the shrink off. And the shrink is now off. So we can bring it closer with a less glare look. Let's take a look at the back of the box here. I'm going to zoom out at first to look at the whole thing. All right, out in the Pacific, you got islands, you got planes, you got ships. Uh, these look like uh, boards with some cards maybe. All right, do we have a product list on the back? Well, I'm gonna zoom in here. And it tells us how many different forces we have. Zeros, Vals, and Cates. Wildcats, Nautilus, and Devastators. And the aircraft carriers. Two of each side. Destroyer tokens. Modular game board areas. 95 total game tokens, rule book, scenario book, scoreboards, turn track board, initiative tracking board, and player aids. All right, so doesn't look like there's card decks per se. So these must be part of these boards, a little informational section. Ah, you can see what I was pointing to there. So looking at this, these don't appear to be separate cards from a card deck or something. They're part of the informational board, I guess. All right, so let's zoom back out and let's get this guy open. And we have the game box open. A little Kickstarter sheet. I guess Fighters of Europe is coming sometime soon. <laughs> I don't know if this ever hit the market. Uh, I'd have to check. So more advertising for other games from that publisher. Solitaire mode rules. This is a two-player game. Uh, and that's on Board Game Geek. It just said two players. Did not mention a solitaire mode. Oh, it's not the... That's just this sheet. So evidently there is a way to play it solitaire. That's nice. Multiplayer mode. All right, set that aside. Command training manual. All right. So, eight pages. Now, is that the rule book? And it's just a fancy name? Or is this something extra? It looks like the rule book. Game setup. Turn description. Initiative and activation. Movement, shooting. Damage, any aircraft defense, barrages, end of turn, processes. Ooh, ships moved, torpedoes moved, reinforcements, victory conditions. Ships, islands, and ground attacks. Islands, torpedoes, bombs, dive bombs. Airplanes. So, looks pretty simple. Now, it says copyright 2022. Wasn't released until 2023. So often happens when you're printing stuff and when it actually things actually get shipped, especially the last few years. 
It's been crazy hectic and <laughs> time schedules on Kickstarter have been here. I just got an item the other day that was 16 months past due. Yeah, but it arrived. <laughs> Everything. Scenarios. Department of the Navy confidential. All right. Scenario instructions. Scenario one. Combat Air Patrol. So it's sort of interesting. That this so what what looked like cards. This is these little um, stat or information blocks, and each person on each side is like, well, "You you read here. This is information for you, uh, American player, and this is the information for you, Japanese player." All right. If you can read upside down, that's a little bit of like intelligence that you can gather. Interception. Vengeance. Attack on the Akagi. Surprise attack. Is this Pearl Harbor? Little tiny print here, boy. No, it's just sort of like a out tooling around in one side spot and the other and going in for an attack. Surprise. Tokyo Express. All right. Bombing. That's the bombing target there, the red spot. Damage control. Fire crews on board the aircraft carrier. Highly organized. All right. Rescue on the high seas. Face to face. Oh, two, <laughs> two aircraft carriers that close together. All right. Okay, mounted boards. I can already see it's the jigsaw puzzle variety. Let's get it out of the bag. And it's out of the bag. So they're labeled. H1, I'm assuming this is going to be H2 for the other side. Yes, H2. So clouds. So one side is probably all pure ocean clouds. I suppose you could make that an island instead. Maybe there's like an overlay to put over those to turn them into islands. Oh, well, there's an island. Docking facilities there. Airstrip, can you see the lines? It's not <laughs> super obvious. This one's very obvious. This is the whole, <laughs> this little island is an airbase. The other one, the first one looked like a, like a, a dirt runway. So, not a lot of islands. Baggies. So these are boards. I'll just go ahead and open it right here now. That should be pretty easy. The victory point board for each side. Turn tracker. Sequence of a play with initiative. Bot attitude, so for the solo mode. Uh, sequence of play in the back. These trackers should not have anything in the back. Oh, they do. Which is... <laughs> One's sideways. One is vertical. Uh, uh, 
Oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, these are for each side. Yeah, vertical or, or so. I suppose depending on where you want to put it on this, you know, which side, what orientation makes sense for you. Okay, the counters. Before I get into those, let's take. This is the insert. It's. Stop. I mean, it's it's not much organized. It's just it's an internal tray that things fit here, and that allows the map boards to sit across the top above the other components underneath. So it's not wasting much space. If you were wanting to do counter trays yourself, you might need to remove it unless you have counter trays that would fit in here. All right, let's go ahead and take this out. And Easy enough. So. so it looks like uh, five counter sheets, or was that four? We will see. <sighs> Various torpedoes. Uh, these might be the dive bombs. Uh, burning oil, wreckage, or uh, there's their name, USS Hornet, USS Bulch, more American planes, this, the USS Enterprise, and the USS Morris. So these are identical except for the ships. The Japanese has Akagumo, Kaga, Urakaze and Akagi. All right, oh, interesting. Didn't know they did some with camo. Now, I am not at all a expert in identifying, you know, what's, what's the zero, what's the Kate, what's the Val. And then general markers, flak, I think this was the initiative marker who's got it uh, that might be the solo bot mode offensive defensive um, <sighs> that looks like a dude standing there holding a very long rifle but I think it's supposed to be sideways and it's an anti-aircraft gun like this <laughs> Yeah, some kind of instrument gauge thing. Fuel, is that altitude? Uh, which, obviously, you don't track that for each individual plane. I'm not sure what this function is here going to be. Because there was only one set of these, period. Um, so very targeting... And some kind of hazard marker. So that was the counters, the maps. Uh, we looked through the very short rule book. We looked through yes, the, the command training manual and the scenario book. So did we look at the back? No, no nothing on the back page there. And this was just the finishing up of the rules. So there was no comment results tables. There's no dice. There's no cards. So it might be if you shoot first, you got the initiative. <laughs> you shoot and you kill. Uh, I don't know. Because there didn't seem to be any randomization method. There's a, what an airport, you have a dodge chance. But uh, so I'm not going to dig in deeper there, but there appears to be no randomization in this game. So uh, other than I don't know if you do rock paper scissors or if you get the shot, you do the damage, and that depends on the ratings of the planes. 
what their defensive and offensive abilities are. Um, as you dogfight and maneuver, it's going to take multiple hits to knock a, a plane out of the air, is my guess. But if you can, like, slide right in behind him and, you know, get a uh, a shot or two, he can't, if he can't escape and peel away because you have the initiative, uh, that you might be able to take him down without taking any damage back. Well, this has been an unboxing, uh, meandering Mike productions of Fighters of the Pacific. This is from Don't Panic Games. Again, the designer was Frank Garibaldi. This is a 2023 Charles S. Roberts Award nominee in the capstone category of Best Overall Presentation. So you've got to look at this here. Um, I will be doing a uh, another unboxing of one in this category. There's four in this category, four nominees. I've unboxed two of them previously. I'll have one of my features where I talk about uh, the, the category. That'll be in my next uh, overall Charles S. Roberts Word video. Then I'm going to do uh, a more in-depth examination comparing all four of the guys in the best, best presentation category. Like, we'll, we'll look at all of their box covers side by side and all of the box backs side by side and all of the rule books, etc. We'll let you guys do a compare and contrast of all four of them so that you can get... Uh, uh, a feel for so that you if you feel like oh, I, you know difficult judging this this category you can you can see all the goodies so based on best presentation you don't you don't need to know about the, me the mechanisms and the mechanics of the game and how it plays and all that the category of best presentation is just that so i will have presented enough information to you that even though you've never played these games or owned them or seen them other than you know, my video presentation, you should be able to make a choice of which you think should be uh, the best overall presentation. So, all you good folks out there, take care, keep an eye on your six, and ciao.